back. It is March 22nd, and this is one of those videos I'm going to go ahead and ask you to share. I want you to share this video because for those of you that follow this channel and for those of you that may be new, there is a lot of talk going on about the sun and solar flares and this eclipse and all that stuff. But the thing I want to point out today is the possibility and likely possibility of a large solar flare over the next 48 hours. We are looking at sunspot 3615 making its way towards Earth facing. And what's interesting about this sunspot is that it's keeping its magnetic strength for both the positive and negative aspects of the sunspot while constantly growing to an enormous size. And that's what we're seeing right now. This thing is moving towards the center of the sun along its equator. And when this solar flare erupts, it's going to be directly facing Earth. We will have instant radio blackouts within a few seconds of that solar flare. But in the coming days or over the weekend, if that happens, that's when we need to worry about the communication issues as far as internet, cell phone usage, all sorts of things we've been seeing all over the news lately. Some of these are related to the sun and some are not, but nonetheless, this is something people need to know about and learn about if you don't know it already. The sun is very important and affects everything here on Earth, and having this little bit of knowledge is better than not having it. Take a listen to this. Since Wednesday, the Sunspot Group has tripled in size while losing none of its magnetic complexity. Don't be surprised if there's an X-Class flare this weekend. So that's on top of us already being hit by a solar storm just yesterday on the 21st. That lasted about nine hours, and that was just a G1 class. But this one has the potential to pack a much more powerful punch. They're calling this a scattered and shattered sunspot. Once again, AR3615 isn't like most other sunspots. It looks like it has been stepped on and shattered. Shattered. And just take a look at those images compared to the size of Earth on the bottom right corner there. A lot of these sunspots are often larger than Earth. We even have other ones around the sun going on, but this is the one to focus on right now based on the different activity and phases it's going through. So my friends, this is my official warning I'm putting out for that potential solar flare, which we've seen happen under much less severe conditions. There's a reason the sun is so prominent in the news right now, and I think it's time for you, if you have not already, to get educated about this stuff. I have tons of videos on it. You can look at past videos or continue to follow the channel and I'll have plenty more. That goes with the Instagram and X pages as well. All right, my friends, short video. I hope you're all well. I've got a ton of amazing content coming your way. All right, everybody, shout out to Canada. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.